The world is going absolutely crazy for the new four Omni image generation model from ChatGPT, and it's able to do some pretty amazing things. Now, we were promised this a long time ago. I remember when the first GPT-4 Omni post was released, they talked about this image generation model, but we didn't get it until last week. So let's take a quick look at what is going on here. Stay tuned because we have a Reddit post within our chat GPT that is absolutely blowing up. And it's everyone showing what's possible now with this new image generator. <laughs> like, look, it's turning this meme into a South Park style. We're going to go through this at the end of the video. At OpenAI, they have long believed image generation should be a primary capability of their language models. That's why they built their most advanced image generator yet into GPT-4 Omni. The result is image generation that is not only beautiful, but useful. The first example is a prompt, and we can see right away how realistic the images look now. I don't know if you remember the old image generation, the Dolly 3 image generation, but all the images were very polished. When you try to do real humans, they kind of look like cartoon characters. This user prompted the model to have a woman wearing an OpenAI shirt, and look, it's the logo of OpenAI, the exact logo. She's writing on a whiteboard, and there's a reflection in the whiteboard of a man taking a picture. Using that exact same image, they change it to say a selfie view of the photographer as she turns around to high five him. And look, the whiteboard is the exact same, it's the same text on the whiteboard. And that woman has turned, obviously their hands are not lining up perfectly, but the point of this example is that it's taken the same scene, the same background, the same woman in the open AI shirt, and just flipped her around. And also added a new character, the man taking the picture, put him into the image, and now they're interacting together. The next example is magnetic poetry on a fridge, and they want line one to say a picture, line two to say is worth, and line three to say a thousand words. And look how well it is at doing text. A picture is worth a thousand words. Next, they want a comic strip. Make an image of a four panel strip with some padding around the border. A little snail is at the counter of a flashy car showroom. And here's some more in the prompt. The salesman has leaned way over the desk to even see him. But looking at the generation, look, it looks like a comic strip. And we have words in the comic strip. I want your fastest sports car and I want you to paint big letter S's on the doors, the hood and the roof. So all that text is perfect in that frame. Now down here, um, we can do that, but why the S's? Wow, look at that S car go. S car go like a snail, beautiful. And the last one is a science experiment. They want an infographic explaining Newton's prism experiment in great detail. And light coming through the window, hitting the prism, refracted light is the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all the words are correct. The spectrum of the colors. And to take it a step further, they want to generate a POV of a person drawing this diagram in their notebook at a round cafe table in Washington Square Park. And look, it's that exact infographic in the first slide. This person's drawing on it. So the GPT-4 Omni image generator is able to take an image in a previous message in the chat and use it in future images. And then the last scene, it's that same background, but now we have Isaac Newton sitting at the table with the prism. Let's move on to useful image generation. What do they have to say? From the first cave paintings to modern infographics, humans have used visual imagery to communicate, persuade, and analyze, not just to decorate. Today's generative models can conjure surreal, breathtaking scenes, but struggle with the workhorse imagery people used to share and create information. From logos to diagrams, images can convey precise meaning when augmented with symbols that refer to shared language and experience. GPT-4 Omni image generation excels at accurately rendering text, precisely following prompts, and leveraging 4O's inherent knowledge base and chat context including transforming uploaded images or using them as visual inspiration. So we can also upload images and use them in future messages, not just the images that we initially create like I showed in the last example. These capabilities make it easier to create exactly the image you envision, helping you communicate more effectively through visuals and advancing image generation into a practical tool with precision and power. 
Look at this slide. Character consistency. In theory, this should solve that problem. And if you want me to test out character consistency in a future video, please write it in the comments below. I have lots of videos on my channel about this problem. We've usually used Midjourney, but now it appears we can use ChatGPT for it instead. I'm not gonna go through the video, but if you want to, I'll leave a link to this blog post in the description and you can watch these videos on your own time. The first one's character consistency. Now we have text rendering. This can be perfect for logos. And this appears to be like a menu. Upload and restyle. So this person uploaded a sketch image and it restyled it into something that can be used in a visual demonstration. So it cleaned it up. Detailed directions. This is a complicated image. And I wonder if it was prompted to make an image exactly with these items in it. Oh, also transparent layers. That's pretty cool. So a nice sticker effect. I can already think of a lot of Etsy ideas. Graphics, stickers, t-shirt designs. Anything is possible now with this GPT-4 Omni image generation. I might make a few new AI business model videos in the future as well. Improved capabilities. We trained our models on the joint distribution of online images and text, learning not just how images relate to language, but how they relate to each other. Combined with aggressive post-training, the resulting model has surprisingly visual fluency, capable of generating images that are useful, consistent, and context-aware. And then text rendering. A picture is worth a thousand words, but sometimes generating a few words in the right place can elevate the meaning of an image. 4O's ability to blend precise symbols with imagery turns image generation into a tool for visual communication. Let's look at their examples here. First, street signs. They want two witches in their 20s reading street signs. Broom parking for witches not permitted in zone C. Pretty clever image. Here is a menu example. It's of a Korean restaurant. Wow, that's pretty unbelievable. If it doesn't make any mistakes, you could generate a complete full menu right from the start. I don't wanna go through this whole thing, but I wonder if there are any errors in the text. Reading it quickly, it looks pretty good. And then here is an invitation. <laughs> it's about the new GPT-4 Omni image generation model. You are cordially invited for the long awaited union of image and text. Multi-turn generation. Because image generation is now native for GPT-4 Omni, you can refine images through natural conversation. GPT-4 Omni can build upon images and text in chat context, ensuring consistency throughout. For example, if you're designing a video game character, the character's appearance remains coherent across multiple iterations as you refine and experiment. So in this first example, they upload an image of a cat, and then they give this cat a hat and a monocle. So the cat looks very similar to me. Now, I don't want to get your hopes up completely because I have tested this model with an image of myself, and I asked it to change something in the image. The output is not 100% exact. It's not 100% you. I noticed there were some slight changes, some slight differences. With something like this cat, it's very tough to tell if there is a difference. And I think I can quickly see something right here. There's a little black line right here next to an orange fur. Don't really see that here as well. But to the untrained eye, this is very similar. Next is a poem on concrete. And then we have a sticker with a transparent background. So no longer do you have to take the image created by Dolly3. Right now it's being created by ChatGPT, but take that, put it into Photoshop and remove the background manually. Now it's making transparent images right from the start. Great for logos, stickers, many, many use cases. And in this sticker example, they have a raccoon, then they turn it gray. And it's the exact same raccoon with the strawberry in his hands. Instruction following, GPT-4 Omni's image generation follows detailed prompts with attention to detail. While other systems struggle with five to eight objects, GPT-4 Omni can handle up to 10 to 20 different objects. The tighter binding of objects to their traits and relations allows for better control. And let's see what they mean here. So first example, they get very specific. They want a four by four column grid, one a blue star, red triangle, green square, pink circle, orange hourglass. And look at this blue star, red triangle, green square, pink circle, orange hourglass, look, it's following the instructions. 
This example is an empty city. They want to see Times Square in New York with no people or vehicles. Look at no people, no vehicles. It's abandoned, very creepy, and no billboards either. Here's a wine glass with only the tiniest drop of red wine in it. Unbelievable. Look at that. We need evidence that there is currently present an invisible elephant. And look, it's the foot stomp of the elephant and it's running and look at the dirt's kicking up. And then a whiteboard that says the following equation and it followed that exactly and put it into the image. In context learning, GPT-4 Omni can analyze and learn from user uploaded images, seamlessly integrating their details into its context to inform image generation. Okay, very interesting. The user uploaded a bunch of different images and they wanted to put them all together into one. So did it looked at all the images and combine them. Here they start with a photorealistic image of a blue chainsaw. And then an ad for the chainsaw where grandma is cutting the turkey with that blue chainsaw. And I don't know about you, but I would buy that chainsaw in a heartbeat. Next is turn this scene into a photo. So it's a little cartoon, an Asian cartoon. And it made it real. And same idea, a drawing of a building. Turn it into a photo. And this is the exact same building, but it is real. World knowledge, native image generation enables 4.0 to link its knowledge between text and images, resulting in a model that feels smarter and more efficient. So this is very example. It gave a code example and it wanted to turn this code into its image. And so it did. Here's a cocktail recipe infographic where it has multiple cocktails and then the recipes on post-it notes below it. Here is a weather infographic why San Francisco is so foggy. There's another infographic of the types of whales and then a very colorful infographic on how to make matcha. I hope watching all these examples that your mind is spinning with ideas. So many possibilities here. Photorealism and style. Training on images reflecting a vast variety of image styles allows the model to create or transform images convincingly. It's a candid paparazzi style photo of Karl Marx walking through the parking lot of the Mall of America. Now it's interesting because when I tried to generate images of celebrities, I was getting content blocked. And even though this is a parody, I'm wondering why they're showing this as example. Are they nerfing this model? At the time of this video, I don't know if we can create this image still, but it's showing that it is possible. There's a cat looking into a puddle of water and the reflection is a tiger. Friends in their 20s at a gritty dive bar. Photorealistic image of a farmer's market in Toronto on a Saturday in summer 2006. Here we see 2006 in the corner of the photo. Now the images are starting to look like mid-journey. So that's a huge step for ChatGPT. But if it's able to follow instructions and prompts better, this model is going to win out. I'll just do a few more of these here. This one's pretty creepy. Blurry old analog film photograph, picture of a parked car. And then what's this one? A lone astronaut floats inside a vast space station painting swirling galaxies. Very cool. Next, our favorite part of these posts, the limitations. Our model isn't perfect. We're aware of multiple limitations at the moment, which we will work to address through model improvements after the initial launch. Okay, they have issues with cropping. So this is an infographic of the deep sea and we're losing some text at the top. Hallucinations, they're making up world capitals. High binding problems. It struggles with a large amount of items. They say only 10 to 20 it can do. This one has up to 70, so it starts to have trouble. Precise graphing is an issue. It struggles with non-Latin languages like Korean alphabet. Sometimes it's bad at precise editing and dense information with small text, it struggles as well but they say they're working on these limitations, so. Access and availability. 4.0 image generation rolls out starting today to plus, pro team, and free users as the default image generator in ChatGPT. And that's why they gained over a million subscribers in one day because it was the free plan as well. It's also available to use in Sora. For those who hold a special place in their hearts for Dolly, it can still be accessed through a dedicated Dolly GPT. I think we're good. Developers will soon be able to generate images with GPT-4 Omni via the API with access rolling out in the next few weeks. I'm very curious about the pricing because Dolly 3 was very expensive. I never used it because the price was too high, always stuck with stable diffusion. But if we get some good pricing here, obviously we're going to be using this. 
and creating and customizing images is as simple as chatting using GPT for Omni. Just describe what you need, including any specifics like aspect ratio, exact colors using hex codes, or a transparent background. Because this model creates more detailed pictures, images take longer to render, often up to one minute. And they have a few more image examples at the bottom. Like it's coming up a six hour marathon, it's a TV show. Ooh, very creepy. I'll let you go through these yourself. As mentioned earlier in the video, Reddit was going crazy with this new feature. They were testing everything out. Let's look through this thread and see if we can find some funny images. Here's that classic meme of the alone man, and they made it into an anime style. There's another meme, make it more realistic. They're showing the other angle of this meme, which button to press. This user generated an image of a wine glass completely filled with wine. Remember, when you would say that, it would usually fill it up to here. It's a common joke with Dolly that it couldn't get over this amount, but now it's full. Oh, that's funny. They turned this into a South Park image. Oh, that is so crazy. Tony Soprano as anime. More South Park renditions. Man, some of these are wild. Van Gogh painting of Vegas. The Eiffel Tower as an ancient Japanese art style piece. There's that scene, but now it's Barbies. <laughs> Look at Trump. Trump as a Barbie. It's funny. Another South Park rendition. Yeah, people are going to have fun with this. Oh, photorealistic version of Piglet. Muppets Lord of the Rings. Back to the Felcher. Muppets Back to the Future. Rambo Mona Lisa. I couldn't do Simpsons. So this was eight days ago. When I tried to do Simpsons, it content blocked me. But apparently it was possible back then. There's Star Trek as anime as well. And a hand drawing of George Costanza on the phone in a 90s apartment, pretending to be his own supervisor at Vandalay Industries. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your company, check out the online app I'm building live on this YouTube channel. It's called YourAIAgent.com. We have everything from AI video editing, auto follow agents for Blue Sky and Twitter, auto blog content, article creation for your website. AI agents that create Tumblr posts or Pinterest pins, chatbots, cold email outreach agents, AI agents that do email support for your business, AI affiliate marketing agents that scrape Amazon and eBay for products and create content so you can get affiliate commissions, LinkedIn posting, newsletters, Reddit comments, SEO heisting, social listening AI tools, automatic tweeters from website blog posts, YouTube comment responders, and then turning videos from a YouTube search or anytime a YouTube video is uploaded to your channel, turning it into an article for your website. So all of these are available at youraiagent.com. I'll leave a link to a playlist on all of these agents. I walk through them one by one and show you how to set them up. And I'll leave that in the description below. If you're a developer and looking to build your own AI agents and maybe turn them into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. It goes into everything from a beginner to an intermediate. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.